Hello Taurus, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. We are in Abuela Soila's room. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at what it is that you need to know. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link to my official IG is below. And as always, not each and every Taurus watching me is gonna feel like this is their message and that's okay. All right, so let's take a look at what it is that you need to know. Spirit, please talk to me about what it is that you want Taurus to know at this time, especially when it comes to whoever it is that they're dealing with. Talk to me about what you need Taurus to know at this time. Okay, so the first card out is the Emperor, Aries Energy. Okay, so I feel like this is you showing up in control as a boss. You're being admired by a lot of people because of your discipline. You're standing your ground. Okay, so continue to do so. Fire energy presenting itself first. Tell me more. Spirit, tell me more in reference to what Taurus needs to know. What else does Taurus need to know? Okay. We have the Ace of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the biggest kind of love, okay? I feel like this is what someone is feeling for you, all right? We have this Ten of Swords energy, okay? And then we have the Eight of Swords, right? So we have two people who are trapped. It's like the both of you don't know what to do about this situation or which way to go, okay? This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Then we have the seven of pentacles. So I feel like you have someone here who is missing you and they are in retrospect right now about certain events that have taken place, okay? Um, words that were exchanged is what I'm getting here. All right, tell me more. Spirit, tell me more about what Taurus needs to know. Tell me more about what Taurus needs to know, please. How does Taurus's person feel about Taurus? How does Taurus's... Okay, so we have Pisces energy. Okay, very emotional. Um, they feel like this has come to an end, all right, with the death card or that it's headed that way. Okay, let's see why. Why do they think the death card, please? Talk to me about Taurus's person. Why do they feel the death card? Okay, go ahead. Okay, Capricorn energy. They feel like you're wanting to close this cycle out. Okay, for some of you, you made this choice or you're thinking about it. Um, they feel that for some reason, it's too difficult for you guys to come together. There's conflict here, drama, fighting, whether it be within your household or between the both of you. They feel like you're unattainable and difficult to reach. Tell me more about the Five of Wands energy. Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have Scorpio energy here as well. Cancer, Pisces. Tell me more. Tell me more about... Ah, there you are. Standing up for yourself, okay? You're not going to back down from a certain situation. The hermit. Hmm, someone's quiet here. I feel like you're choosing to put yourself first right now. And you don't care what anybody else has to say about that. With this hermit energy, it's just all about you. 
at this point, you know. It's like you have a lot of love for someone, but you're starting to realize that if you have to walk away from this situation in order to do better and feel better, then you're going to do that. So good for you. Tell me more about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Taurus is dealing with, please. Talk to me about Taurus's person. Talk to me about Taurus's person, please. Talk to me about this person that Taurus thinks about. Talk to me about the person that Taurus thinks about. Talk to me about this person. The Nine of Swords just fell to the floor. This person is stressed out, having a hard time. You know it. Intuitively, you know that there's some sort of karma that they're being served. Okay? That's why it's just best to leave it alone. Let it be for right now. I wouldn't reach out. You know, you got to let the universe handle them. That's what I'm getting. Let the universe work for you. You don't have to do anything right now. Lessons are being learned. It was time. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you've been through, all the drama, all the fights. You were always there and now I feel like they don't know what to do. Because it's almost as if they feel like they're going to lose you here. You know, we have the star with Aquarius energy. All right. And I have these two other cards that fell here. So, oh, okay. You got this King of Wands. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius looking at you. All right. This person wants to reconnect with you. They want to talk to you. They want to be a part of something that you're doing. But I feel like you're still, still, still saying no. Okay. It's okay. It's just not time. Not right now. It's your time. That's why it's not time. It's not this person's time. They need to understand that. Everything is not about them. You're not going to drop everything and run, run to them every time they call. You know what I mean? They don't have it like that. They need to understand that. I feel like you're teaching them right now. Okay, but that's what the Hierophant does. You are the teacher, the educator, the counselor, the therapist, the negotiator. Hmm. Talk to me about outcome here for Taurus. Outcome. Outcome, please. Outcome of this situation. The Four of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tell me more about this Four of Swords for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Talk to me about this. Okay. I'm telling you, like... <laughs> You feel the need right now to either keep something a secret, keep something to yourself. I feel like some of you guys are trying to protect something. You could be saving. I wouldn't suggest that you let anybody borrow any money right now. Like, no, it's not a good idea. There's people that are going to come to you and they need this, they need that. Just say no. Mm-mm. You're not interested in giving right now. And you shouldn't. That's what I'm being told. Until the energy shifts, then you can. But I feel like you don't want to. And if you're not into it, and if you're not feeling this person's vibe, then take a step back and, and meditate on why that's happening. Because it's happening for a reason. Right? How is it that you love somebody, but you don't want to talk to them right now. Okay, so let's reflect on that. 
Let's process it. So we can come to a resolution. I see you doing that. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. I want to thank you so much for watching. To book your private reading, all of that info is below. Please follow me on Instagram and take care.